Hello, today I'm going to show you how I practice my mental math every day by laying out numbers on the grid that I can then manipulate and then do the calculations. So we're going to give you an example here that you can follow along and then you can make your own list of numbers and your own pictures as you do this on your own. First of all, we're going to start with the number 6, 2, and 4, 2. So I imagine myself wrapped in a chain and it's raining on me or I'm hit by lightning. Okay, so that's going to be 6, 2, and 4, 2. Next, I'm going to imagine the second part of my pegging system that there's a big cave and I run into the cave, but then I'm hit by a giant book. So cave is 78 and book is 97. Then I'm going to imagine the third part that I'm attacked by a lion and I give him a giant dove. And he eats it instead of eating me. So that's 52 and 18. Then I'm going to imagine on the fourth part that I'm on a beach and I'm, I see a lifeguard. And he picks up a car and throws it at me. And so the beach is 96 and the car is 74. I imagine on the fifth part I see a, um, a sheet, a big white sheet, and I pull it and then a van comes out and runs me over. So the sheet is 61 and then the van is, is 82. 82. Next, on the uh, sixth part of my pegging system, I see a lion. He, he attacks me, then we start to square dance. Which he plays, and we're now square dancing. So that's going to be 52 squared. And then on the seventh part, I imagine that I'm in a boat and I'm rowing, and then I'm attacked by a giant leech. So that's 44, he's a rower, rowing, and the leech is 56. So those are my numbers, and I'll go over them again, make sure that they're in my head and I review them. So I've got 6, 2, 4, 2, 7, 8, 9, 7, 5, 2, 1, 8, 9, 6, uh, 7, 4, 6, 1, 8, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, and 4, 4, 5, 6. Now I go backwards. I'm going to go 6, 5, 4, 4, 2, 5, 2, 5, Two, eight, one, six, four, seven, six, nine. Um, let's see where we're at now. I've got uh, eight, one, two, five, and seven, nine, eight, seven, and two, four, two, six. Those are numbers forwards and backwards. Now I'm going to start to take the numbers in groups and then break them down for two by two calculations. Okay. So now we're going to do um, 62 times 42, and I'm going to start from the left side, so that will be uh, 24, and then the outside inside arch will be 6 times 2 is 12, 2 times, two times 4 is 8, and that's going to be 20. So now it's going to be 26, 0, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so 26, 4 is the first answer. Next one, I'm going to go to uh, 7, 8 times uh, 97, which is really less than 100, so I'm going to say 7,800. I'm going to say 3 times 78 would be um, 234, which is close to 300, so I'm going to make it uh, 75 by taking away 300. 75 in complement of 3466, so it's going to be 7566. Six. Next, I'm going to go to uh, 5 2 times 18. I'm going to say 50 times 18 is 900, and 2 times 18 is 36, so it's, it's 936. Moving on, I'm going to go to 96 times 74. Again, I see a 96 close to 100, so I'm going to say 7400. Um, 4 times Okay, make sure I got this. <laughs> it's, again, I'm looking in my head for these numbers. Uh, 4 times 74 would be 296. So that's close to 300. So I'll take away 300 from 74. That's 71. Um, the complement is going to be 4 from 96. So that's 0, 4. So it's 7, 1, 0, 4. Next, I'm going to go to the 6, 1. And 8, 2, so I'm going to say um, 6 times 8 is 48. The arch would be 12 and 8 is 20. So 48 and 2 is, is uh, 50 with a 0. 
that's 5,000 and 2, 1 times 2 is 2. Next one is 52 squared, so I'm simply going to say 25 plus the arch of, of uh, 2 and 5 is 10, and 2 and 5 is 10 is 20, so it's going to be 27, 0, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 2704. And the last one would be uh, 44 and 56. So I'm going to say 5 and 6 is 11. 11 times 4 is 44. We're going to say um, tw uh, 20, which is, of course, 4 times 5 is 20. So it's uh, 244 plus 24, so it's 2464. All in my head. All right. So if you do that every day, you'll get good at that. You'll be able to really practice your numbers, practice your pegging, and practice being able to manipulate numbers any way you want. Okay? So that's a practical application. It's a practical demonstration as well. And I hope that you're able to, to use that because that's how I'm able to keep my mind strong all these years by being able to imagine things and then break them down. All right? So until next time, you have a great day.